Hey guys, and welcome back to Resident Evil Code Veronica. When we last left off, we just managed to get ourselves the Eagle Plate. Now, let's go make some use of said Eagle Plate, shall we? Uh, our infantry is pretty damn full at the moment, which is not exactly ideal, but we'll figure that out in a minute. First thing we need to do is go get ourselves another key card. And, oh, Steve's still there, sobbing quietly to his daddy. That's fine. We shall let him stay there. Let him give him, let him give him, let's give him a bit of a moment to relax. Get off me, you damn stinking mutt. I mean, honestly, what do you think this is? Free lunch? I don't think so. Oh, wow, we really are. <laughs> we really are pretty full, aren't we? Well, that's okay. Now, you do get quite a good inventory in this game. But, there's obviously a lot of stuff to pick up, I guess. Come on, you little rabid bastard. Okay, now, uh, there really ain't much. I guess we could take our healing items, but... Wow, we got a lot of weapons on us, haven't I? Right, well, that's fine. We'll just have to remember that all this stuff is here, won't we? Let's go get ourselves the emblem card. We're going to avoid the gulp worm. There's also more ammo there. Do you know what I think we should do? We can go in there now. No, we can't do that yet. We need to go and get the emblem card, don't we? So, go lift this bad boy up. Come on, Claire. Let's get this done. we just got to remember that there's two packs of bowgun bolts that we can go back and pick up at any time. Uh, there's dogs out here now. Yes, there is. That's fine. Oh, God. Oh, nasty little Fido bastard. Oh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Cheers, buddy. I actually don't mind doing this to be honest, because this is a good way of using up this health pack. Come on. Get back. There you go. Nice. That'll do. Come on, you. There you go. There you go. Lovely. That's what we call ammo preservation, and uh, much better. Unfortunately, we're literally seconds from an item box, but hey, shh, shh. Right, so stick you in there, a little bit like so, and that will give us this wonderful, wonderful new emblem card. Delicious. Uh, right, I think we need to go and pay a little bit of a visit to the um, item box, because man, we really are pretty much up against it right now. Ah, sweet, sweet freedom. Can't believe we had to use a health item there, but I think I might give up. I don't know. I keep thinking about giving up on the knife, but I'll be honest. I kind of like having the knife around. Um, we'll keep these two on us. Uh, we don't need that right now. Uh, we can drop that. We will keep both of these on us. Uh, so, we'll go... We, have we even used... I haven't even used those yet. Yeah, I didn't think so. We also have these here too. So, uh, that brings us back up to 10 ink ribbons. Bloody hell. Um, right. Do we want to keep the biohazard card on us? Really? Uh, we could have used that up, in all fairness. In fact, let's go use the biohazard card up. Just because we can. And if we can, we will. Uh, do we have everything we need? I think so. I think we do. Because it's not going to be too long now before we start heading uh, through 
to the secret or it's a private rev residence i believe it's called where our friend renos live yes alexia and a brother or do they or do they we shall soon find out uh oh no we can't do that just yet can we really not no okay well once we open that shutter we can throw that card away ah oh, maybe i should stop being such a idiot and uh, not do that just yet then here i am wasting my time and yours oh oh dear i don't go running into that fire either I want to head down into here. Luckily, our friend uh, Alfred blew these uh, bolts off this door. Now, uh, the last episode came out really dark. Uh, I apologize for that. That is because I'm still getting used to the new settings of this capture card. Um, does anybody remember when I first did this game? And it was really, really bloody dark. And I had to brighten it up. Well... That was because of a color codec that apparently, like, my old capture card isn't compatible with. I don't think yet yeah, that's to the elevator. Um, but this one is. You have, to, you have to set it to full range color in the options, apparently. And uh, I updated the driver, and that reset all of my settings. So that is why the last episode came out really, really dark. I'm going to try and boost that up in uh, editing, but I don't know what kind of results I'm going to have. Anyway, uh, let's grab up some of those. Yeah, oh God, I remember the first time I actually did a Let's Play of this particular version. And my God, it was so ridiculous ridiculously dark it's so hard to see anything now this is where we can upgrade our handgun if we're playing as chris anyway <gasps> i've said too much yeah that was kind of a big reveal in this game wasn't it that we actually get to play as chris yes very very interesting reveal all right let's get this used And go grab a new weapon. Ah, oh, yes, the grenade launcher. Yeah, this puppy doesn't fuck around. And quite like the bow gun, we can put as many of the same rounds as we want in the weapon at once, which is really cool. Really nice. Now, let's have a little look. So we've got the emblem card. We've got the grenade launcher. Um, now... We're actually going to go back up the elevator. Don't need to go back through this door, do we? No, we don't. Nothing we can do out here just yet. There are more bandersnatches in there, as you can hear them. Like, trundling around. But there's nothing we can do just yet. So, let's go back up the elevator and start exploring the new areas. Every time I come out here, you can hear that uh, fan swirling around and kind of like making a weird breathing sound. I always think there's some uh, nasty beast hiding within. Um, and now, band snatches are really cool enemies. I do. There's only 14 of them in this game. I do wish that um, they did make an appearance in another game. Um, you know, they're such a cool, like, definitive... Uh, oh, now, let's see. I think... I think we're going to go up to 2F. Uh, the, yeah, they're a definitive um, example of a failed experiment, you know. In fact, they were such a failure of an experiment. They're unstable, they're clumsy, they're unwieldy. Uh, a bit like me, really. And totally unmarketable. And what I think is quite interesting is if you read up on the Bandersnatches. Hey, friend. Uh, yeah, we can chuck that one out. One of the interesting things about them is one of the reasons they were classed as, uh, you know, failures was because of their grotesque and ugly appearance. And I'm like, no, 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 come on. Okay, we shouldn't be judging 
creatures on the quality of their appearance, should we? The Albanoid description. A creature which is created by injecting the T-virus into the genes of a salamander. Oh dear. Umbrella. You bastards. There it is. Similar to a normal amphibian, an albinoid's body will change as it grows with age. When young, an albinoid is small in size but can grow to over 7 feet in a very short time frame. 10 plus hours. They possess high mobility and are able to discharge electricity. These characters characteristics are most notable when they're underwater in their adult form. Yep, nasty, nasty sons of bitches. Yeah, we're probably never going to run into them, right? Yeah, you can see this game literally like throws herbs at you. They're like, oh, here you go. Oh, here you go. Oh, have you taken your your daily dose of herbage today? Read into that what you want. Uh, we'll grab the proof. Just because. Now. Now, now, now. Now we can finally get the code that we so desperately needed, which is 1126. Now, if only we had that code a little bit earlier... We could have saved that dude. The pass number. Door lock, yeah, yeah. Did we? Yeah, see, this is it, you know? Ah, oh, that was a failure of epic proportions. Claire, what are you playing at? Honestly. Now, nah, we don't really have to kill these guys, but. You know, it's Resident Evil. They're zombies. Zombies get killed in Resident Evil. You know, that's just the way it is. I don't make the rules. You actually hitting that, Claire? Yes, zombie go down. Save every bullet we can. God damn, I love the knife in this game. Alright. Okay. Uh, right. So, uh, let's head down here. Open this delightful wooden door. And this leads us right back around in a very roundabout kind of way. So, let's go back to the item box. We are going to put down the proof. Uh... Uh, you know, I'm just... I don't want to part with the knife. It's such a fun weapon to use. Um, hmm. 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 Just, just... You can't take the knife away from me, guys. You can't do it. Uh, right. Well... Yeah, I think we're pretty good for health so far. Uh, right. Don't really need that for now. Wait a minute. Uh, no. No, we don't need that for now. Okay, cool. Right, let's go back to the palace. No, we want to go back to the train facility, don't we? Yes. And we want to go get our picture frame. Then with the picture frame... We can then take that back to the room to get the key, and then we can go back to the palace. There we go. I'm sorry. My memory is not what it used to be. You'll have to forgive me. Uh, there's probably... No, I think this is a somewhat efficient way of doing things. Maybe. This will take us back out here. Yeah, this is fine. Now, this bit can get a little bit, as the kids say, dicey. We should be able to throw the other card away now. There we go. Chuck that shit in the ditch. At least if we do need it, Claire, we know where you dropped it. Wink, wink. Yep, still... That room's... Not accessible to us. Now, if only the... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> you are. All right. I apologise. Now, if only this was... Uh, if we had this code earlier, we could have saved that... Um, Lab coat. 
but sadly his fate was unfortunately sealed really the second that he decided to work for Umbrella you know hard to feel too sorry for him to be fair okay so I want to grab up these don't forget these bad boys no slip them into your pocket right away and there's our friend he is already dead now interesting thing about him he was actually killed by a bandersnatch now, there's no bandersnatches in here man there's nothing useful are you sure claire are you sure there's nothing useful well i'll take your word for it it appears to be alive the capsule was labeled baby albinoid yeah yeah Hey, friend. Yeah, he gets the fuck out of Dodge. So much for containing that, the biohazard, huh? Don't think we can get around this body either, which is a little bit annoying. Oh, you dickhead. I didn't even see you. You little dickhead. You gotta watch that. Literally no point in killing them. As much fun as that would be. Right, come on, Claire. Keep going. I like the way she slowly saunters down the stairs. Whereas before, she literally threw her ass down. Which always cracks me up. Uh, right, so we now have that. Let's go back into the garage. <coughs> oh, I got bloody hair in my throat or something. Maybe it's a bit of the T virus. Who knows? Oh, actually, whilst we're here, waste not, want not, and all that. Yep, yeah, be seeing you a little bit later, mate. Quite a little bit later, to be fair. Uh, right, grab these as well whilst we're here. Was there anything else out here? Uh, for some reason, I, I know there's bullets under the tank. But we can't get those yet. No. No, I think we're good. Right, Steve's buggered off with his um, dad's uh, body, I guess. Which is fine. We don't judge, okay? We're not here to judge each other, alright? Judgment free zone. Oh, hey, zombies. All right. Uh, yeah, come on then. Let's sit your ass down. We'll give you the, the knifey. Oh, I would give you the knifey knifey, but your appetite for destruction has been satisfied, I see. Oh, this guy's going to get a bite. No, he's. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Look at that. He got his speed shoes on, didn't he? Shit. God. Insolence. He was moving quicker than Sonic. Well, that's fine. Let him have a quick cheeky nibble as he goes down. Anyway, there's the missing photo. Or at least missing painting. I do like that. That's cool. A man's portrait is displayed here. Yes, it is. And there is his opposite. So, a memorial plate. There is some writing on it. Dedicated to the training facility's completion. December 8th. Alfred Ashford. Yep. Yeah. December 8th. Gee, I wonder if that's going to be uh, important a little bit later on. Uh, spoiler. Yes. It's secured with a simple lock. Okay, well. I have to remember that. All these little bits and bobs that are secured with a simple lock. Hmm. Okay, so we've got ourselves a snazzy new key. So let's. Yeah, let's just go out here. It's fine. It's fine. Pick a door, Claire. Any door. Most of them lead to the same place that we want to go to. Uh, now. Okay. 
So let's head back to the palace because we have the golden key. The golden key. Remember in the back of the palace on the, the bottom floor, there was two doors that were locked pretty tight. Uh, in the same corridor that Steve got himself into a little bit of bother. Hot bother, if you will. Let's go back here. Right, well, let's test that twitch aim of yours, Claire, not bad, not bad, because, there we go, a couple of these new bandersnatch creatures, yes, luckily they're miles away and incredibly slow, so we're just going to wail on them with a handgun until they, you know, fall down, going to take a lot of bullets as well, but not quite as, oh, not quite as many as you would imagine for kind of like such a high-end enemy. Uh, I suppose they're probably the equivalent of hunters, although nowhere near as dangerous as a hunter. Oops, obviously. But, you know, they're bad enough. Right, now we flushed those two turds down the drain. Let's go back. Back to the palace. Ah, uh, because we've got another puzzle to deal with, of course. I love this area. I really do like this area. So cool. Oh, if only they would... Um... Oh, we can hit him. Nice. If only they would remake this game. I mean, I wonder if the fact that they actually re uh, released this version, I wonder if that's one of the reasons why they haven't made an actual decent quality remake of this. Um, but they can't be that proud of this version of the game because they never re-released it on anything else. You know, they re-released uh, Zero and Remake quite a few times. <laughs> that's putting it lightly. But... We never got a decent remake of this, which sucks, to be honest. Never mind. Anywho. And no more zombies in this area. Nice. So there's the gold key used up. Single use key. The best. Right, now this leads us into this rather delicious looking portrait room. Yeah. Got a lot of pictures to choose from. This reminds me of the puzzle from Resident Evil uh, 1, the original uh, remake. And in indeed the, the actual original Resident Evil, the Circle of Life or whatever it was called. Uh, so what have we got here? A pure white candlestick. Something is written on the base in memory of Alexander Ashford's succession. Okay. Now, a message to the new family master. Sir Alfred, congratulations on your succession as master of the Ashford family. I hereby present you with an earthenware vase according to the Ashford family tradition. As you may know, this tradition first began when the butler presented a golden teacup as a commemorative to Veronica. As founder of the Ashford family, her intelligence and beauty are legendary. The second and third masters, Stanley and his son Thomas, were also presented with similar teacups. It was their hope to achieve glory, as Veronica did before them. The position of family master then shifted from Sir Thomas to his twin brother, Sir Arthur. It then went to Sir Edward, your grandfather. That was when the Ashford family enjoyed his golden age. It was also Sir Edward's achievement that established the large chemical enterprise, Umbrella Inc. Hmm, interesting. However, when Sir Edward passed away and your father, Sir Alexander, succeeded the position... The glorious Asf Ashford, Asford, yeah, Asford family gradually began to sink. 
I sincerely hope that the Ashford family regains its glory with your guidance, just as this vase, or vase, however you want to say it, continues to shine eternally. Scott Harmon, butler, Ashford family. Hmm, memory from the new master. Okay, well, let's get a bit of light in. Oh, God. Oh, the engine didn't like that much. You're right down there, Xbox. Right, so we have a picture puzzle. We have to choose the original path of succession um, from oldest to newest. Well, uh, luckily, I know, I know the way. A beautiful woman is holding a tea set. There's a button below. Yes, that is uh, Veronica, the original um, member, or at least as far back as this goes here and then we want man with two babies the two red-haired twins yes mm -hmm, mm -hmm. man by the tea set which is this gentleman here there we go uh and after that we want the man by the plate which is you <laughs> an earthenware plate is also illustrated there's a button below Yes. Yes, there is. Uh, now, we need the vase, which is there. Very hard to see. It is a man's portrait. An earthenware vase is also Ill illustrated. There's a button below. Yep. Give that a push. Now. Yeah. Last but not least, there's a picture of a man. A pure white candlestick uh, is also illustrated. There's a button below. Yes. Now, let's go see who the uh, actual new head of the Ashford family is. It's the same child seen from the projector film. Uh, there is a message written onto the picture. Trace the Ashford legacy to reveal the true master. And there is obviously um, uh, Alexander. Not Alexander, is it? Alfred. My bad. Alfred Ashford. Push the button. <gasps> no. No, the true heir to the uh, Ashford throne is Alexia. Anyway, let's grab the earthenware vase and have a little look inside. Give it a little, little look. Other than my vase, there appears to be something inside. Take it. Aye, laddie. The Queen Ant's object was in the vase. Hmm. Okay. All right. Interesting. Uh, yeah, and that's all that's here. So, well, I say that's all. It's actually a pretty bloody important item, but that is, that room taps out completely. So, let's head back. So, what have we got left to, to, to work with? We have the Golden Lugers. Right, well, we've got a couple of Zeds upstairs. So let's go handle them. Evening. Knock, knock, motherfucker. Come on, Claire. There we go. Oh, he's almost had enough. Oh, knock him off balance. Oh, that was so satisfying. He's had enough. He's had enough already. All right. Don't kick a zombo when they're down. Right, we're going to get munched. Oh, 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 sir. No snack for you. Unfortunately. Oh, no, we're actually hitting him. Cool. Got a little bit concerned there. No, he's bleeding out too. What's with these weak source zombies? Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, let's go. Uh, what are we doing for time? Oh, we're on 30 minutes already. When did that happen? Well, approximately 30 minutes ago, I suppose. Uh, let's put the acid rounds back. Oh my god, I need to sort this this dump of an inventory out, don't I? 
Right, we got the fire extinguisher. Uh, let's. How many have we got there? We've got ten. Okay, so let's put those there. Put you there. Let's put you there. There is a reason why I have just twenty separated off, and that's so we could make gunpowder arrows. Because I are smart, yo. At least I like to think so. There's actually a hell of a lot of bowgun arrows in this game. Like many hundreds of bowgun arrows in this game. It's kind of stupid. Um, we're going to use those in a second. We're going to use that. We'll keep the handgun on us and the knife. Well, let's see where we're going. Alright, yeah, we got a couple of... Oh, you know what we will take with us? Oh, should we use those? If we leave them any longer, we're going to possibly get to a situation where they're no longer useful. Um, I mean, they're always kind of... Yes, let's just take those as well. And we'll put the handgun back for now. Don't worry, little handgun. Your time will rise again. Oh, God, look at this inventory. Look at this inventory. What the hell is going on? Right, key items up there. Health items. Go there. Weapons. Down here. Good enough? Good enough, I guess. I mean, that's ammo anyway. Key item. It doesn't need to be such a large... I'm not OCD. I swear. I'm actually not. It's just this irritates me. Um, right, there we go. Uh, yeah, do we need any health? Nah. I don't think so. But we do need some ink ribbons because we're going we're gonna to end the video here, guys. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It doesn't feel like we've actually accomplished that much here. Um, and I've lost my ink ribbons. There we go. It doesn't feel like we've accomplished that much, but we kind of have. In a way. We've moved forwards, and that's all that matters. So, I'm going to end the video here, guys. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And, as always, till next time.